Hello, my name is Michael Yu, a dental student at Western University in Pomona, California. I graduated from the University of Washington back in 2013 with a major in biology and a minor in education, justice, and society. During my time there, I also participated in a lot of extracurricular activities and even became the president of their pre-dental society called Delta Delta Sigma. Now, one may ask why I'm sitting here telling you all of this, and it's not to tout all of my statistics, but to highlight that even with all of that, it took me not only once, not twice, but three dental school applications before I finally got in. And all of this can be boiled down to one thing that pre-dental students often stress over, the GPA. I graduated from the University of Washington with a 2.96 cumulative GPA. And after the first and second dental school applications, I finally looked towards ADIA's official guide to dental schools and found out one very important thing. Most dental schools at the time weren't accepting students with below a 3.0 science GPA. So for this video, my question to you would be, what would you do in that type of scenario? If you had a low GPA, would you go to a post-bac or master's program? Both are very viable options for increasing your science GPA, but depending on the situation that you're in, one might be better than the other. But before I get into that, let's highlight the pros of a post-bac and a master's program. Both a master's and a post-bac program are structured to advance your undergraduate education. Both are also one to two years long. And in the grand scheme of life, if it's going to take one to two years to better yourself as an applicant, that's totally worth it if it means that it'll increase your chances of getting into dental school. On that note, a lot of post-bac and master's programs these days are connected with the dental school. This will not only help you with networking, but also give you guidance as you go through your program. So both seem like great options, but what did I choose and why? I ended up going with a master's program for several reasons. Earlier, I stated that I graduated from the University of Washington with a 2.96 cumulative GPA. That means my science GPA was something far lower than that. And for that reason, I needed a clean slate and started looking into master's programs. Now, this isn't to say that a post-bac program won't increase your science GPA. I've actually had a lot of classmates come from post-bac programs and they had a lot of success in them as well. It's just that some post-bac programs are designed around advanced level undergraduate courses. This means that any grade that I got in a post-bac program would have been added to my science GPA. And now say that I had a science GPA close to a 3.0, a post-bac program would have been great because it would have just taken a few courses to get me above that 3.0 threshold. But this doesn't mean that every single master's program will be your answer to get a new graduate level GPA. There are some master's programs geared more towards public health. And while dental public health has a very important place in my heart, I had to stay away from those programs because I needed to increase my science GPA. With all this information that I've so neatly gathered for you here in this video, I made a decision back in 2017 to go through a one year long intensive graduate level master's program in biomedical sciences. Thinking back on that year, it was probably one of the hardest years academically, but would I do it again? Absolutely. It not only increased my chances of getting into a dental school, but it made me a better student overall. More importantly, I demonstrated to dental schools that I can withstand the rigors of a graduate level program and became a stronger individual and applicant. So if this is you and you find yourself in this similar type of scenario, I implore you to look into masters and post-bac programs. Really look at your dental school application and diagnose where you may be lacking. And if it's the GPA, a masters or a post-bac program may be right for you. So with all that said, and before I sign off, I wanna leave you with this one final note. If you're gonna take anything away from this video, this is the most important part. It took you a lot of effort to get to where you are right now and that's something to celebrate over. Never be discouraged, don't lose hope, and it's not a matter of if you get in, it's a matter of when you get in. Thank you.